All right, guys, welcome back to another interview on Hinge. I am joined by Kenny Mukawana. How's it going? Yes, sir. Uh, good to be, good to be here, bro. <laughs> good to be on, bro. Yeah, absolutely, a pleasure to have you on. Obviously, a prospect like yourself it is an absolute pleasure to get you on the show. And obviously, what I like about this show is bringing on prospects like yourself. And then watching you grow, watching you learn, and then obviously watching you succeed. It, it, it's, it's it's like a beauty beauty that I, I just love it. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, and it's good good to be on the show as well. And I hope I'll, I'll start I'm obviously gonna start watching this show grow as well, yourself as well. Hopefully <laughs> hopefully I'll, I get to where I need to be in uh, Bellator, I get world championships and and maybe and maybe one day you'll invite me to your studio or whatnot one day, you know what I mean? Bellator, I, I like seeing growth Bellator. myself, you know. Hundred percent, hundred percent, and that's that's the plan, that's the dream, and um, I'm working towards it. And um, February twenty twenty fifth is the next step in um in the journey. I mean, if you look at Bellator right now, um, I, it, I would call it a, basically an all Irish promotion because they go to Ireland mm. two times, three times a year, and when they do, it just feels like they're just a full Irish promotion. There's all SBG on the card. The fans are going mental. It, 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 honestly, the atmosphere looks incredible. And I, I, I feel like they've really, really hit the spot when they go out there. Yeah, 100%. I think um, as well, there's not not much as the bigger shows have been here in a while. The UFC haven't been here in a while. And um, a lot of the bigger, like PFL, have are only coming up now. I'm sure they'll get, get to Ireland as well. And... And because they're just doing shows in UK now and, and things like that, but um, yeah, Beltar have definitely taken taken advantage of um, the 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 Irish the Irish MMA scene, and um, it's definitely growing, and and um, they see they see the crowd, the fans. I know the crowd, fans in England are, are crazy as well, but um, yeah, in uh, Ireland they're just uh, just as mad as well. So um, they've taken full advantage of it. It's like a it's almost like a football. Um, <laughs> football stadium when you hear the chanting and that and the singing and, and that the crowd is um it's a different the different breed over this neck of the woods yeah I, i've got to admit, admit defeat on this one i think the irish fans are much better <laughs> than the english fans i think they are when the irish fans are absolutely crazy um take for example when peter quiddy walks in I, I know we've seen it time and time again but it never gets old it's, uh, it's iconic. It's iconic. It's something else. I, I, I keep on asking. I wonder how that feels, but I'm, I'm sure. Like it's hard to, for him to say in words, like how, how that feels. Like when it's that loud in the arena and it's that, like they're screaming for you. Like you know what I mean? It's, it's actually it's a madness. You, I, I'm sure. I remember there's one time. Um, his opponent walked out, and you couldn't even hear the opponent's walkout tune. And you know the when the when Beltar plays or walk at music, the they put they have the tunes pumping. So to not be able to hear the opponent's walkout song is is that's crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah, the Irish uh, scene is absolutely crazy. The fans, the community, they're they're absolutely wild. They're a different different breed over there. Honestly, it must be that Guinness. Yeah, hundred percent that Guinness. Even though, yeah, even though it's not the tastiest thing, but it does, it does, it does make you go go on a mad one, probably. You know what I mean? All right, okay. <laughs> let's go to the good stuff. Let's talk about you here. Uh, first and foremost, I want to congratulate you, obviously making your successful Bellator debut in your last outing, and a, a, a phenomenal one, a phenomenal fashion first round guillotine. Let's talk about that. How, how does that feel? Looking back on that? Yeah, it feels good. Um, obviously. I t on my post interview, um, I've been getting a bit of stick for it, but I said, um, I said I, I could have done a bit better, but uh, that wasn't that wasn't that wasn't like disrespect to my opponent. It's just I know the shots I've been landing on on people in in my training leading up to that fight. I know like what I've done, like leading up to the fight in um in my spars and um in just in my training full stop. So um. That that was that was kind of nothing compared to what I was doing at training. That's why I was saying like I, I'm even better than what I showed, and um, I'm looking to show more as um, as I as I go up the ranks and whatnot. Yeah, absolutely. Now, how, how did it feel, obviously, being in that Bellator cage uh, the first time? And obviously, I, I would say you you know your first taster of the uh, of a big promotion. I, I know you fought in UAE Warriors, but that's sort of like current current. You know, you got the top two promotions in the world, Bellator. You've got the UFC, and obviously you're fighting one of them. 
Yeah, it's weird because I'm I'm literally just I'm just like you. I'm just I'm a I'm a fan of the sport. So when I'm like walking around and I'm just seeing like I'm seeing things I see on TV, like when I'm watching Bellator myself and I'm seeing Yoel Romero walking around and and I'm seeing like um, John McCarthy and the commentators that I I I see on TV and things like that. It just it was just it just threw me back a little bit because I didn't I just think about the fight. And then I didn't think about all the little, the little things, like you know, you know what I mean. So um, it, I think that was like, wow, what? The, like when I was in the cage and I'm seeing like, like Bellator, the Bellator signs on the cage and things. I'm like, wow, like this is this is really Bellator, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, but um, as soon as the fight starts, it's um the same thing. But it, it was a bit um, it did catch me off guard a little bit, even though even though I knew I was fighting on Bellator for months and months, it's still like. When you're actually in in the cage, still like wow, like you know, what I mean? you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And you talked about your Romero, uh, and, and people have said how big this man is—a freak of nature. So you've got you uh, probably a... walk the same steps <laughs> of him. How big is your Romero? Ah, uh, he's so easy. <laughs> he's he's. I'm, I think I'm taller than him, but he's just so wide and and yeah. and um. You, <laughs> yeah, he's a scary guy, but he's actually one. He's. I was talking to him. He's so humble, down to earth, and um. Just taking pictures with everyone and and a lot of the fighters. Like I think he was the start star of the show on um on that Bellator. Definitely, everyone was trying getting pictures, all the fighters and all. But um yeah, it's um obviously in- inspiring like being on um a show with him. Like obviously we've been watching him in the UFC um in big huge title fights and and like obviously he's he's such a character in the sport as well. So um yeah, it's great to be in the same. Uh, organization the same show as him so it feels like i'm doing something right you know what i'm trying to say absolutely yeah. the, the, the event was fantastic Start, top to bottom it's stacked uh benson yeah. henderson peter Queeley, uh as we mentioned Joe romero melvin manhoof jesus 100 oh, percent. the list is the list goes on <laughs> and then obviously but, uh, you got yeah. kenny kenny as well yeah yeah i'm definitely in a few years they'll be saying yeah people will be talking that about me in in the same regard as I'm talking about uh Yoel. That's the that's the plan. And I, I honestly, if I, because <laughs> I was saying to my mom a few years ago, man, I'm gonna be on these big shows. I'm gonna be on Bellator. I wanna be on whatever. What's next? You know what I mean, and um, my mom was like, oh, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. You just, just like, you know, you know, you know, when you know when someone's just saying yeah, yeah, and you know, <laughs> just trying to just agree with you, just to switch yeah. up. You know what I mean? But um, just like just like I knew I'm gonna be here in Bellator. Now I'm looking at the, I'm looking up, I'm looking at, I want to be, I want to be fighting like the Pitbulls and AJ McKees and I want to prove my worth here and I want to win titles and um, make serious statements. I don't want to be just um, known as a Bellator fighter for a few fights and then maybe I'll go back to UAE or something. You know what I'm trying to say? I, I want to make a serious name for myself here and um, change my family's life, get belts um, become pound for pound in the rankings. I'm looking at all of that, so I'm not. I'm I'm happy where I am, but at the same time, I don't want to be staying in the same position where I am at the moment. Uh, yeah, uh, there was a word that popped up in my head there. Um, it, it, it don't feel was it don't feel comfortable. There we go. Don't feel 100%, comfortable where yeah. you're at. Yeah. Hundred percent, because there's a lot of people that have have got to the big show, and before you know it, they're back um on the re- on the normal regional shows you know what i mean and that's that's um it's um it was something that will keep you humble you know and um just keep your it'll keep my feet on the ground you know what i'm trying to say yeah absolutely uh one more one more question actually before we talk about your next assignment um i i, I could talk for days we go we're going off track a little bit but let's talk about um just quickly Obviously, you fought in D- uh, Dublin, Bellator, uh, in your last fight. I just want to ask you, um, and we talked about Peter Quinn before we went on there and the pop, the reception, but how did it feel when you got the pop and that reception you were walking out for that fight? Yeah, it was, it was crazy. I, got, I was like, usually the adrenaline wears off like, like about 30 minutes after the fight, but the whole night I was just on like, like, it was just, I can't even describe it. It was, it was mad. I, I, I like, you always like mentally prepare yourself for like these situations, but like, like 
I don't think <laughs> any, I don't think any mental training that I could have done could have compared me and like prepared me for that for that like all my family and friends like people that I haven't seen in like 10 years like that I went to primary school with uh, uh, were at the were in the crowd and that I was in the crowd after and I seen it I was just it was just very over, overwhelming and the messages I've been getting like Ariel Hawani retweeting my retweeting my um my my fight and um get messages off like people like Diego Sanchez and things like congratulations and things like I was it's just like thousands of messages usually I get like a good like a hundred mes- messages or something but this time it was like thousands of messages and the support and like the response from the victory was like was overwhelming and uh, I can't even put it into words like how how it felt. So yeah, like, it felt almost like a dream like yeah, I, I think everyone realizes uh, the future that you can have, um, the potential. Everyone starts off with potential, but you know, there's always something uh, a little bit sweeter, a little bit feels better when there's an Irish man and he's fighting well. Yeah, yeah, the especially the Irish, the Irish crowd. You see it on TV, but when you're when you're actually in in the stadium, it's it's a, it's something else. Like it's something else. Yeah, let, well, let's talk about. Your next assignment against Craig uh, McIntosh. Um, it took me a few t- attempts to try and, p- try and pronounce his name. Them Scottish people up there, they, they, they have weird names. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's talk about your opponent, a Brazilian uh, Brazilian black belt in jiu-jitsu. But it, w- we've seen in your career that you love the submissions as well. Um, how, how do you see this fight playing out? Um, yeah, you sh- I feel like when I when I seen the name and I seen his record on the contract, I was like. Ah, uh, handy, handy three, three and four guy. You know what I mean. But I looked at his fights, and obviously everyone's his record. Uh, his record honestly doesn't show how how good he is and how slick he is as well. And um, I know, yeah, I definitely have to be um watching my P's and Q's. That being said, I know he has a black belt. I feel like this is this is MMA. It's a different sport, and um. I feel like I could take the fight anywhere, anywhere as well, just just like that. But obviously, I have to be careful. But um, I respect his, I respect his ground game. But um, I feel like I can, I can beat him everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. Um, another show, another fantastic opportunity for you to showcase your skills in front of the thousands of Irish fans. Um, what holes do you see in Craig's games, if any? Um, I don't really like to. I don't really like to. Um dig too deep into certain halls because he like everyone we're all like fixing our, our skills so i feel like in the fight i will figure it figure out um once i get a feeling uh, i think the pressure will be too much i, I feel like I've, anyone that i put my pressure on like i feel like it makes them make mistakes even the jiu-jitsu black belt i feel like the pressure that i'm going to put on them will um will um, create mistakes and holes even and make him do maybe uncharacteristic things like like leave his neck open like like um i'm sure um my last opponent he knew i'm i'm dangerous with submissions but i put pressure on him to make him make them them mistakes that usually usually you probably wouldn't make you know you know what i'm trying to say yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, w- would it feel sweeter um, with the victory and submitting Craig because you know how good of accomplished Capri is? Yeah, hundred percent, I am. But then again, I know I know what I can do, and I know the level of of training partners that I I, I roll with. I roll with black belts every every day on the match, so it's 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 nothing really new to me. So, um, but obviously for the people that um. That haven't that don't see me train every day and and things. It's 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 a new thing to them. But I feel like it's just it's just another day at the office. Even though it's um it's a he's a he's a, probably the best grappler I've I've fought so far. Definitely is the best grappler I've fought so far. But um yeah I, I feel like the level of people I train with is um is um is a higher level than him. So um I think I think I will be okay. <laughs> Yeah, SBG. But we'll we'll that, see. I, I think yeah. In safe hands. Yeah, I'm in safe hands here. John, John, John Kavanagh. I'm under the. I'm under John Kavanagh and Dave Roach, and obviously, the I don't even want to say the name because I miss I miss I miss so many people. Do you know what I mean? But you know yourself the the level of people that um the grappling especially at SBG is um is very high. So. I feel like any anyone in in the world I can I can take on the ground, but um that being said again <laughs> I have to be careful with um 
with uh, such a high level grappler. Yeah, exactly. So, so that's the only last um, last question about the fight. Uh, four, as as we've seen on your record, four fights, four submissions, uh, and and with this type of matchup that's coming your way, do, do you see an, obviously an opportunity to present yourself, maybe getting the finish for the first time with your hands, uh, and obviously keep that obviously that finishing record, the keeping that finishing um, streak. Um, my plan. I feel like when you look for the finish so so hard, I feel like it never comes. It's like. Like um, like when you when someone looks for the knockout, they don't set it up. They like it usually never comes. So I'll just I'm just gonna feel the feel the fight out. I'm gonna put the pressure on them, and um, hopefully, I I I get something out of it. Like my last fight, I I didn't. If you watch it back, I'm not really chasing the submission. He kind of gives me his neck, and I and then from there I take it. You know what I'm trying to say. So um, I'm just gonna go out and do what I do. I have 15 minutes to to win win every minute of the of the fight and then that's plan and if and if i get the finish i do if i don't i don't but you know i'm gonna i obviously will i obviously will look for the a finish and that's that's the plan but um i will not be hunting it so heavily but um yeah i think i think that being said i will i think i'll get a finish but <laughs> but uh yeah <laughs> uh, ultimately what are the advantages that you see uh, obviously, you see yourself having on fight day. On fight day, I feel like I haven't shown too much of my stand up, but I feel like my stand up, especially, I think, will um will make the difference, and I think that will open things on the ground as well with um my striking. I don't think he want to strike with me, and when he if he underestimate if he underestimates my ground game, I feel like. I can choke him out as well because a belt is just belt to me is just the color at the end of the day. I I don't I don't have a belt, so um I'm just an MMA fighter. It's not jiu jitsu, it's um it's MMA. So uh, I feel like I could finish the fight anyway, and um it's kind of it's up to him on what way the fight finishes. To be honest, I'm just gonna do my job and hopefully I can get him out of out of there with uh, maybe a TKO or a submission. I, I I agree. I I think this is a perfect um match up for you. Um stylistically, I think this is um uh, for you to showcase your hands. Um obviously we've seen your grappling prowess. We he's got, obviously he's got grappling prowess as well. But I think this is a perfect opportunity to showcase them hands and showcase that maybe I'm not just a grappler, I've got some power as well. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I've 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 done so well in grappling so far and I've just I've almost just shown that and and my fights haven't went too long so um yeah i'm looking to show show i haven't even i haven't shown, i don't feel like i've shown like even more like the like the clinch i haven't shown clinch my clinch work i don't think i've shown my knees i haven't shown much of my kicks like i haven't shown i haven't shown a lot so far so and um, and if you look at my amateur record my amateur record is more up and down but since then i've corrected a lot of things in my game that um maybe in in previous fights um, the fight, my my Bellator debut would have went a lot longer than than what it did with with some of the minor details that John and Dave Roach are fixing in my game. So um, um, hopefully you'll see see more in this fight. Yeah, and uh, we, we, so that's the the end of Craig. Um, we don't have to talk about him anymore. Uh, but we talk about uh your last fight, um, the, the the debut, and as we talked about the first fight, you know, kind of on the big stage. And you get the, the, the taster, the feel, um, the adrenaline rush, should we say. Um, yeah. we, what was it like, obviously, experience all the, the, the media, um, the, all, the, all, all the new media, that's all that, all that pressure on the fight week. Um, what was it like, to, you know, balancing that across fight week, balancing that across training camp? What was it like balancing all the new media? Yeah, it was. Um, I took it as it was, it was very tiring cutting weight and doing that much media um the week of the fight but at the same time i take it as like this is like training for when um obviously when i do like more interviews and i i rise my name bigger and, and things like that for the future when i'm fighting for titles i'm gonna have to do more media more pressure and, and there's gonna be more of that so it's good so for me it's like a little more practice and things like getting better with the cameras and things like that so um yeah i i, I like it i like it yeah, absolutely. You you made your better to debut three and oh um very early in your career. It was a fantastic opportunity for yourself. Um when you got that call, um was you thinking, yeah, this is it, this is my moment, I'm ready. 
Hundred percent. I feel like uh, I've been I've been um, at the level to fight here for a long time. I've been in the crowds watching watching fights and thinking <laughs> thinking low key. I I, I, I I belong here. I could I could beat a few of these guys. So and that was my chance to to show what I've been thinking in my in my mind for the last for the last five five years or so. Absolutely. Uh, I, I just want to quickly remind you as well. Make sure you leave five minutes earlier for the weigh-ins. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I'm, you know me, I'm so bad with John, John, John Calvin and Dave Roach. No man, I think oh, I have they to sneak on. I'm angry. sneaking onto the match. Yeah, they get, they get it's scary, man. John scares me, man. <laughs> I have to, I try sneak onto the match these times, man. I'm so, I'm bad with my timing, but it's something I need to get better at. To be honest, I need to be more professional. And um, yeah, the fight could have been in serious, serious trouble <laughs> if I was a few minutes, more minutes, a uh, few more minutes late. So um, yeah, next time I'll be try be a bit more on the ball. <laughs> yeah, the, the the bonus of it is you were on weight, so uh, could you imagine if it, you know off weight that could have been? Yeah, 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 yeah. That would have been bad to be honest. But um, yeah, the, I make sure I make hundred percent. I have no problem with uh, making weight. That's that's uh, <laughs> that's guaranteed. I'm gonna make better weight, but um, just being on time and things like that. My timing could be better. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think that definitely shows about obviously when you make weight, um, your energy. Uh, as soon as you're on them scales, you just look like you've just like I, I don't know what you just I, your energy is unmatched on them scales. Um, <laughs> I don't know what it is. But it doesn't even look like you've cut weight. Yeah, <laughs> I was just yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I don't know. <laughs> Now, now that you say that, yeah, it makes uh, people do be looking dead on the scales. To be honest, <laughs> but, yeah, it's like got... Justin Henderson. Um, he obviously he weighed uh, when he weighed in. He looks a little bit, you know, drained out. Looks a bit dead. And then, then you've got this young Irish guy walking up, talking about how the Irish, the Irish, um, what, the, what the traffic was so bad, bouncing around, having fun. Yeah, I was having fun, but you know, but you know, five minutes before that weigh-in, like I was scared. I thought my fight was out the window. <laughs> so, like, we we literally left, like, we left the car, like, literally outside the stadium. I'm like thinking, right, I don't care. The take, like, the guards can take the the police. The guards over here can take the car. I don't know. I just need to make way. That's all I was thinking. You know what I mean? So uh, to make way, I thought I honestly thought like I was gonna be late. And Bellator, I okay, came. Musa was telling me Bellator don't play no games. They'll they'll take your fight off the off the off the card <laughs> if they don't play games. And they find a few people as well for for being late to the to the rules meetings and things. <laughs> five hundred five hundred quid. So yeah, they don't play games. And I'm happy that uh, <laughs> I just about got there. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. So, was it? It was just the the Dublin traffic. It must have been so busy. Oh man, the the, the traffic had no chill that day. <laughs> oh man, we just had to. Oh, we were in traffic for ages, and we just took bus lanes. Nearly cutting through red lights. If cyclists, uh, if cyclists are on the road, and we nearly, we nearly, we nearly got you. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, we had to go. <laughs> Nah, but it was a fun week. It was a fun week, and um, I met a lot of fun people. And um, yeah, ho- hopefully the next one is better. Goes a bit more smoother. It's all, all of this is just just the learning curve, you know. I could even my weight cutting. I'm even looking to do that more smoothly and like get the weight down. Everything can always be better, you know. Because yeah, so there's a pro- there's improvements to always be made in in anything, you know. Yeah, it's all about reps. Uh, at the end of the day, the more yeah. times you fight on these big shows. Um, the more comfortable you feel. Um, so obviously, the last question uh, about the event itself. Obviously, fighting another big event. Um, you got Amazon versus Storley at the main event. Um, obviously, back to back Bellator Dublin crowds. Um, eventually, maybe there's going to be a little bit of thing in the back of your head. Maybe you like to fight in the United States. Hundred percent. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was. Talk- I was actually talking to Dave, but Dave, Dave was like, "Hold on, chill, 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 chill." So yeah, I'm gonna. I have to. I listen to my team as well. Like, if it was up to me, I'd be already fought. I would have fought twice already since that last belt or so. But I'm. Um, I'm trying to get to grips with because when you're amateur, you just you just try rack up the fights as much as you can. But when you hit pro, you try like 
like um structure fights fights a bit more better and smarter and things like that so um but while still being tested so you're trying to get that little bit of balance but um yeah i 100 percent want to be at the top of the sport that's the plan and um i wouldn't take i wouldn't have I wouldn't take waste my. I feel like I'd be only wasting my time if I didn't try fully bow for the for the full dream, you know. Absolutely. Uh, as I talked about my last few questions that I got for you, um, France Malambu, obviously your brother. How big of an inspiration uh, is he? And obviously, I'd like to put this out. What a phenomenal fight France is. Ah, yeah. Uh, thanks, yeah. And um, yeah, France obviously is the reason that um, I believe I can, I can. Um, I can do this because seeing him, he was in Bellator before me. So obviously, um, when you're if your brother isn't on Bellator, you're thinking like, why can't oh, I have two arms? I have the same blood as him. I have two <laughs> arms, two legs, just like him. So obviously, if he can do it, he, he does. He's not Superman. All he did is show up. I I just watched him show up at at the gym and like, let me see see where I can can take this. You know what I mean? And and it's going well for me. So um, that visualization and if you actually feel like you can do something and in someone inspires you you can honestly like just keep on going because obviously there's days that i don't want to be going to train and i'm too tired or my, my back sore or my, my legs sore or something so um yeah just i don't like just like me i don't have any like there's nothing crazy about me you know i don't have any superpowers so i just keep on showing up to the gym and i and i just enjoy what i'm doing and um yeah just just me having fun um i feel like having fun makes me a better fighter and when I'm in, when you're enjoying something, you're obviously gonna be good at good at it, you know. So, so um, yeah. So uh, that's why I take inspiration from my brother, and um, hopefully, um, yeah, I can have a good career like him, you know. Yeah, France Malambu needs to be picked up by a big, big promotion. I, I I don't know what's taking him so long. Whether it's PFL, uh, or it's every day I'm every day I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> every day I'm asking <laughs> every day I'm asking uh, I don't know but I just told you I just told you I don't know when I'm fighting I'm like when are you fighting every day I'm going to go into the night and ask him yeah hey, when are you fighting bro <laughs> but yeah hopefully he deserves something I think he would mix it up well and do phenomenally uh, phenomenal in, in the PFL PFL Bantamweight division uh, or the featherweight division yeah yeah I think um I don't know. I don't want to say. I don't want to say nothing. But PFL might be possible. But and um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. You probably have to ask ask him. <laughs> but yeah, I hope, I'm hoping. I'm wishing for the best. PFL is a phenomenal choice if you do go that route. I, I think yeah. it's very, very winnable for him. It's a fantastic opportunity. Obviously, you know um, what he, what, he, what he can uh, achieve at the end of it. Um, so, all right. Last two questions. Look at it at the top yeah. of the division. You look, you know you've got Patricio Pitbull. I know you've. Seen, I saw that Instagram post about him. Saying <laughs> the, belt, the belt would look better on the black pump, uh, black diamond. Sorry, and obviously you're looking at. As you talked about it earlier as well, you're looking at the top of the division. You like these matchups. Um, yeah. How will it feel one day to obviously you know have your name mixed up uh, upon them? Hundred percent. That I. I it's like it's not like how to feel. Like I know. Like I, in my head, it probably sound it sounds crazy. Like I know people are looking at me like this guy is deluded, deluded. Like you know what I'm trying to say. This guy is absolutely deluded. But I know, I know what I do in the gym every day against the caliber of people I did, I I be training with. So I know that I'm gonna be there. It's just a matter of time. And um, obviously, I just have to um keep my keep my uh, head screwed on and um not overlook anyone because you you know yourself how crazy crazy this sport is that's why we watch it that's why we love it because anyone can be beaten the the, the better fighter doesn't always win so um yeah i'm i um, have to once i keep my head screwed on and perform the way i know i can perform i have no doubts that i'll be fighting people and and i and i want i like i wanted to see these posts but i, I know my following is a bit lower might, you might you might not see it yet but give me a few more fights so <laughs> i bet he'll respond <laughs> he's I, I, i'm gonna I, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make it so they can't unnotice me. They, they're gonna have to notice me soon enough. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, so my last question is: How are you gonna celebrate um, after the fight and hopefully the win? Um, I actually don't know. I'm not. I actually, I'm not gonna look past. I'm not gonna look past them. I'm just looking at the fight and um, training for the fight. And after the fight, um, I'll just wing it probably and and go back to the coaches and see what what's what. Cause um, this once I beat once I beat um, Craig, um, 
the, the, miss, the mission's not complete. That's just like, just like in, say, GTA, you complete the first mission, but we haven't completed the game yet, you know? We haven't completed the game, so we have to keep, we have to keep on going. <laughs> yeah, you got some side quests to complete. Yeah, side quests, you know, we have some side quests to complete, you know? We have to get to the final mission. <laughs> Uh, that's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Kenny. An absolute pleasure. I wish you a uh, Merry man. Christmas, a Happy New Year. Um, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you eat. Actually, no, I, I hope you don't eat because if you've got to make weight, but you got a lot, you got a lot yeah, of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Food you want. Yeah, yeah. I'll have, I'll have a little bit of turkey, a little bit of turkey, <laughs> and I'll be good, yeah. <laughs> but you, you, enjoy your, you enjoy your dinner, yeah. You enjoy all the food. <laughs> I will. I will. I'll have them pigs and blankets. Yeah, I'll that's right. Yeah, have a good night. Amazing. <laughs>